Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggae, and welcome to some four-star antics today on the Evangelion collab. We're moving into some restrictive atmospheres to give ourselves new challenges, and we're going to start off with the ninth Angel Strikes. Gosh, Angel events so far in this third version of the Evangelion collab have not gone too well for us, but... This time, we're on the easier one, so hopefully it will be alright. Now, the first level shouldn't really be presenting us too much of a problem, but after the last few things that I've done, I'm not even entirely sure anymore. An easy level could still well be difficult, so I'm not going to take any chances. Oh no, not today. We're going to break out the green shell, stop that Jackie Peng in its tracks, and that's the kind of easy level aesthetic that we're looking for. A nice gone Jackie Peng, courtesy of one little smack from the old Zamboni. What about a smack from the Abrahama? Well, it may surprise you to learn that that also works. And here we go, the old lumbering jumpy boy. Oh, he's still, still going. That's not easy. Look at that. Outstanding you welcome. Not by too much, though. On to an expert stage now. This is so much nicer than Merciless. Right, okay. Let's break out. Koro! Shinji-kun! Ray! We have BB Bunnies. We have an Elephante. And we still have the I haven't had enough sleep tonight, Angel. Let's try and sort you out. I reckon we can because we got money straight behind it. Go in with a... No! LeBuan's got some attitude there. I'll give it that. Go on. Be gone. No. Oh, ho, ho. give me a bit of attitude there, aren't you? All right, this is war then. I don't think I've got anything especially strong for this war. One tiny shuffle backwards, and that's probably Ghetto Amigo shuffle backwards on the Lebuan. This is an expert. Flippin' sake, I mean, unless I'm really, really degraded in skill, they are much harder than the level indicators suggest. Why am I failing at this? Oh, the boss comes out of its own volition. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? So I'm not going to be able to really prepare any better. I, I haven't brought a meme team. I mean, I brought an Evangelion theme team, but that should be a good thing. These units should be perfectly fine and, and do a perfectly good job. And they, they just don't, really. Come on, then. Let's see what we withstand. Not much. The Shinji and Kwaru stay alive and then just get melted by the rest of it. So the shenanigans are not great at the moment. We've got a Zamboni getting in where it needs to get. And then absolutely nothing else to follow up behind it. I mean, honestly, this Shadow Boxer K as well causing me trouble despite having Bomber Cat with me. I have got a plan as regards that. But the rest of the level, I'm not fancying my chances on the middle stage here. Something is afoot. I recently got myself Kawaru Cat, who is tough against black enemies with massive damage. Massive damage? Right. Yeah. Am I confusing you? Or are you? No, no, you had massive damage. Allegedly, anyway. So let's upgrade, 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 To level 30. And we'll see if this makes any difference to our ability against Shadow Box, okay? Probably not. That's a. That's a hand with Kwaru in it. <laughs> oh, I love the flinging. Look what happens when we have attention to detail put into a unit. I mean, look at the high death of that. Very nice indeed. So now we've got double Kwaru in the battle. This one seems to have a great recharge time as well. Nice and quick. I think similar to Apron Asker by the looks of it. I've also brought along with myself my old hermit chum. That is, if it stays alive, which it doesn't really. The angel is usually behind all sorts of things, and so usually use wave attacks which in its most convenient form is manic macho legs which we have absolutely no access to so unfortunately we are left with this less than ideal solution to the problem but further unfortunately i am failing again and i don't know why it's unreasonable can i hear everyone say it with me please this is not an expert stage Right, okay then. Big guns as big as the guns I can get with the current restrictions. I brought along Dark Laser because that is anti-red and anti-black and buffed up. So let's see if it can do the damage that we need against stuff. I sincerely hope so. We've got a whole load of BB bunnies and we've got some Shadow Boxer K, so it should be well suited to this job. After that, I will bring in Valkyrie in an indeterminate time, which was fairly decently timed. Nice. So you hit nothing. Okay, that, that's probably to be expected. That is less to be expected. Again, not an expert stage, but anyway... It's fine, as I keep saying, and every time, it's just not fine. I've brought an iron wall with me as well, and I think that is a sensible choice. This thing does a whole load of pile driving damage, and if that can be transferred to some sort of blocky, uncaring object for at least a little while, that's going to be preferable. Lil Jamira, what can you do 
absolutely nothing. However, I did just see Dark Laser do a pretty nice job against that Shadow Boxer K, standing up to it like the big bully it is. Right, go on. Do it again. Show the ladies and gentlemen. Go on. Go on. Go on. Look at that. Look at that. Bit of damage. Not enough damage, though. Even with Kawaru's massive damage, can you can you purvey us some of that? Not enough of it, clearly. And, yeah, that's, that's all of us gone. I pressed the pause button, but yeah, sure, you know better, game. All right, I've swapped out what doesn't work and swapped in what might. Lil Jamira didn't work, but I have a very upgraded wrestler cat. And also the big hitter cameraman, which I've sort of forgotten about again, but is a staple of four-star glory. I've also brought me as a meat shield the extra fast and better recharge time than I remembered sumo cat, and there's already millions of them. Also, my newest addition, Nyaladin, who can do waves at a cheaper and more expendable cost than old Hermit Man face. Smaller waves, admittedly, and waves that don't actually seem to go off. Do you want to try again? Go on, my son. <laughs> that was quite pitiful, but maybe it'll make a difference over time. I'm going to save up my monies while there aren't any additional peons, and then I'll start to bring them in when that is necessary such as the BB Bunny appearing now, and definitely bring out the big guns, because Shadow Boxer K. Not enough monies for Wrestler Cat, but we've got pretty much everything else, so hopefully we can deal with that. I don't want to lure it, because I don't want to invite the Ninth Angel any closer to me. I need to be doing damage to the Shadow Boxer K, and just trying to keep everything as far away from the base as possible. I think the time has come now for Wrestler Cat to go in and hopefully do some tanky damage. Go on, demonstrate what you're here for, it killed a BB bunny and then was killed itself. I feel like that's between inconclusive and, oh dear, quite bad. But are we actually going to get to it? The stuff that's in front of it is as much a problem as its own attacks. So I'm at a loss. I really am. I mean, everyone knows that. They've seen the defeat screen enough. Go on, go on, go on, clump up a bit, do a bit of damage to the one. How much health has it got, honestly? Do you know what I've forgotten has wave attacks? Jelly Cat. Slipped my mind, that one, but it's one I'm glad to now remember. The waves on that are going to be a lot better than the ones off in Yaladin. Other than that, I've got no idea. I've reintroduced Paris because damage, I need some of that. And I've also brought in Thaumaturge to weaken stuff, generally. Hopefully that has some kind of impact. I was toying with glass to try and stop LeBuan, release, slow it, freeze it, knock it back, whatever it was for a little bit. But the margins look far too small for me to realistically get that done on a regular basis. So I thought, you know, best just probably not. Our hopes now lie with where the jelly cat can make a substantial material difference in this level. And I mean, for a moment at least there, it looked like it was going a little bit better than normal. Unfortunately though, I ran out of monies again, really quickly, despite the rich cat, despite everything being pretty good value and pretty cheap, I have absolutely nothing to spend, and I suspect it's because nothing of substance is dying. Yes, the occasional BB bunny, I don't assume I get much from that, the Shadow Boxer K sticks around until I die, usually. The LeBuan's obviously always going to be there. And, well, the Angel, at this point, I don't even want to talk about the Angel. So there's no incomings except for enemies, which isn't helping us because we're not killing them. It's genuinely impossible. I am going to try one random strategy from somewhere that probably has no bearing on this level. The cameraman meat shielding strat. Maybe I'm spending too much on my meat shields, maybe that's what it is. And actually, if I just put camera people out like that, we'd be stalling the angel at lower expense and occasionally doing damage to stuff if there wasn't the combined power of LeBuan and a big chunky angel. I gotta say, I think this is actually working decently. I mean, the angel isn't moving forward at a faster rate than it usually does. I'm gonna bring out my meat shielding now the Shadow Boxer K is there, but if we can kill it, I might return to what I was doing afterwards. But I doubt we will be able to get to that point because even after stocking up that much money from not putting the meat shields out, well, guess what? We now have none again. Welcome to the Battle Cat's economy. Jelly Cat's probably actually the fastest unit I have, and we're not really getting very far across the field by the time the boss comes out, but still. It's allowed us to get another jelly cat in addition, so that one, as a sort of sacrificial jelly cat, is probably alright to continue doing. So I'm only going to put out the longer recharge time 
cheaper units. And I'm going to see where that gets me. Will I then have enough monies to deal with the Shadow Box of K? I'm going to need to put every single bit of funds I have into that. But will it actually make any material difference when it comes down to it? Will the monies just go down to zero almost instantly upon trying to protect against it? And then that stuff die? And then me not be able to replace it? It seems likely. You know what? I will try luring. Let's see if that makes it. Actually, no, I, I can't now. The angel will just be too close in now that the Shadowbox K has been knocked back. Well, let's use the monies that we have then. Wait until that attack and then bring out some more things. Is this making any difference? No, no, and no again. There seems to me a fairly strong case for reassessing the difficulty marker of levels when it gets to four star versions of it. It's a joke, calling it expert, and it's going to make people, me included, wonder why they suddenly can't do a stage difficulty that their beginner accounts can very easily do. Kaworu seems to be the standout here. It's survived things before and oh my god, Jellycat, yes! Finally, my son, right, okay. I'm gonna lure this Shadow Boxer K so that I can do as much damage to it as I can without the angel in attendance. Go, 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 go. Damage, 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 damage. And then we're gonna push forward into the angel and just see if we can kill it while we're there. An absence of LeBuan is going to be absolutely fantastic for our chances here. But that absence is soon to be over as the second one, luckily it's our only one at the moment, arrives. The Shadow Boxer K. It's weakened from the Thaumaturge, or at least it was briefly, so there's a little bit of respite there. But then again, our units are thin on the ground. It is no longer weakened. We get that solitary, hopeful knockback from the cameraman that's soon to be rendered into absolutely nothing. All the other enemies arrive, and hey presto, we're gonna have defeat again. Oh look, we got the Shadow Box of K, but it makes absolutely no difference to the eventual outcome of this. And sod this, I'm not gonna be able to afford a 1500 cat food roll. We're continuing. Screw this. I've had enough of being messed around by this stupid level. It's not an expert stage. It's nigh on impossible, certainly to get it done within one run. So we're just gonna throw everything we have at it. And we're gonna get it done! We're gonna finish this sodding level, alright? If it kills my cat food supply, we're gonna get it done. Yes! Suck on it, LeBuan! Jelly Cat is fabulous! Go on, my son. Do it again. Bite him! Ha! You suck! Yeah, that's a knockback, and we know what that means. It means eventual success at the cost of 30 cat food, which we won't even get back because it's not the final stage. Heaven forbid what that ends up being like. Not even gonna go near it. This is a pure spite exercise to finally get some kind of circular ending narrative to this misery and sort this disgusting sod out. Get out of my life, you incorrectly numbered, incorrectly named as to the pilot, blue fiend of misery. Suck it and die, which you've done, but it's not over yet. There's a shadow box of K, but hopefully with no angel in attendance, everything should be fine. Especially as, finally, we've actually got a decent bit of money. It's because something's actually died on the battlefield for once. Kaworu looking regal in his hand there, delivering the massive, massive damage. damage to the Shadow Boxer K. Well, continue doing it, my son. Continue doing it, the lot of you. This Shadow Boxer K does not deserve to be here. This is my level to win, especially it being a bit of a pay to win. Oh, very nice. And no. Oh, that's it. There's only two stages. Oh, yes. Cat food neutral, boys. We've done it. Lovely stuff. Four star complete. I'd say that was completely and utterly worth it. I was resolute in not planning to enjoy it if there was another stage after that. But actually, it was an enjoyable challenge because I managed to get it done in the end. Four star can bring about some interesting curveballs and heck, I think it did there. That was actually fairly enjoyable for me, and I certainly hope it was enjoyable for you. And on that note, I bid you goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed.